for the knock down the left hand side. And there is the equaliser. The goal coming from David McMillan. I think it was, it was it actually it be number 28, Rhino came. But straight away, just like that, James, that's how quick it can happen. Dundalk back in the game. You, it shows you the quality of what you're playing against there, you know? Yeah. I think Paul Theory was caught that he couldn't really make the tackle early on because he's on a yellow. But what a what a run, what a finish. Ryan, congratulations on winning the award. I think you're a worthy winner. Yeah, the, I seen uh, the other goal I was up against was Pat, and obviously that was not a worthy winner, but uh, yeah, I'm just happy I got uh, chosen to be the gold one. As you say, you chose the quality of the strike to beat to beat Pat's header against Derry because that, that in itself was another brilliant goal. Oh, it was an unreal goal and a big game as well, I suppose. The, the dying numbers of the game and uh, yeah, it was not a magnificent goal, but uh, yeah, look, my goal wasn't too bad either. I'm yeah. just glad to, to win it as well. It's been a good couple of months personally for you getting into the team yeah. and sort of making making your mark. You've obviously won goal of the month. I think you're the man of the match from RT and the match sponsors against Shelburne a couple of weeks ago. So even though results haven't been great in the last couple of weeks, it's been a it's been a good couple of months for you. Yeah, obviously, it's like some of the the results have been negative, and I suppose we could we could do better. But personally, it's it's been positive. Obviously, the start of the season, kind of being patient and, and waiting for that opportunity to get in and having small cameo appearances off the bench, but uh, yeah, the gaffer kind of threw me in then and uh, I'd like to think I took the, the opportunity well and uh, kind of take it from there now and look a big end to the season and hopefully we can we can end on a high. How's it been for you breaking into the team and everybody in the dock loves to see a local lad yeah. sort of playing with the first team. How's it been in your life now, sort of walking around town and you know going about your day to day? Have you have you noticed much attention coming on you? I've noticed the way of it, like people <laughs> people kind of coming up to me and saying stuff and how, how is it up being up there and look, it is brilliant. I, I do love the attention and uh, seeing people I know coming up to me asking how the football's going and that and uh, even up at the coach and you have kids coming up and asking you how it's going and stuff. So. Uh, yeah, I do like the attention, but uh, yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, we're obviously here at Blackstone Motors and Drew Duffy, your former manager yeah. up at Warren Point, he was taking the credit for your development <sighs> when I was mentioning him earlier on. Uh, Drew was very good to me up in Warren Point. I was with him with the under 18s and we had a very good team up there and uh, he was brilliant for my, uh, just my progress when, when I, was, I think I was only 15 up there mm. and uh, yeah, he was very good to me. Yeah, obviously when you scored the goal down in Wexford, we were dreaming and hoping of a, a day out at the, the Aviva. Obviously it hasn't come to pass. Last last Friday was disappointing mm. in, in Waterford. Yeah, oh, look, very disappointing result. We were obviously dreaming of getting to, to the Aviva and that was the goal and we, we kind of knew, or we, we thought anyway that we could get there and yeah, look, the result was negative and look, we'll be back there next year hopefully and uh, Look, we'll have a strong finish to the league, definitely, and uh, we'll take it from there. Has it been good having this week off with the with the international break, just for everybody to sort of regroup and sort of focus yeah. focus the minds again? Yeah, look, I think it was a good for a lot of lads, including myself, mm. kind of to get a break. I think we had a lot of fixture congestion there with a lot of Monday, Friday mm. games and Monday again. And it is tough on the body and mentally as well. It can be tough. So uh, yeah, I think it was good for a lot of lads to get that break in, and now we can recharge to go next week. We've six games left. Four of them, obviously, at Casey's Field. Starting with next Friday against Strada, it's it's probably the perfect game for us to get to try and get back and track a local derby against a team that's you know I think I think there's a feeling that we owe them we owe them one for the the results we've had against them this season. Yeah, obviously we played them at home and it was a convincing win, but like the two games away, yeah. like both not one nil wins to them, like you, you don't want that to happen when you go up there, especially in such a big game. So uh, yeah, we'll 100 percent be ready for the for them coming to Casey's Field and. Yeah, be a bit massive game. How important is it for everybody now, Ryan, just to get behind us at this stage? It's it's been when you look at the season overall, it's brilliant. We're we're still in third place. I think some of the reaction over the last week, you think we were fighting relegation, but yeah. it's it's important for everybody in the town to, to get behind us, especially with four of those games at yeah. at home. Yeah, I suppose the reaction from the fans it just shows how much they love the club mm. and how well the club has done in, in recent times and. Obviously, in contrast to last year, obviously it's been a massive change, and mm. we've only lost five league games this season. At the thirty, like it's 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 been a massive improvement, mm. and obviously the last few weeks haven't went that way. But look, that happens in football, and we're going to kick on now for the last six games, and hopefully string a few good results up, and hopefully get Europe 